channel um, today we're going to talk about elegant classic uh, watches maybe not only classic but overall we're going to talk about watches ladies and gentlemen because i noticed recently that more men start following my channel which is a little bit surprise for me but a very very positive surprise and obviously i want a lot of people to enjoy this channel so um, if you are new to this channel then i'm very warm welcome to you if you are my um, subscriber who already watched me then uh, welcome back as well there is obviously a lot of different type of watches. There is a lot of different style. You can choose um, a round one, square one. You can go for something very modern, um, Apple Watch. So there is a lot of uh, different things on the market. And I think that's maybe sometimes um, can create this kind of like a confusion with uh, choosing a watch for a lady. I feel personally that um, classic watches uh, are much better for um classic obviously ladies and for this for the feminine style and today we're going to just um jump to in, into the subject of classic and elegant watches um not all of them will be classic because we're going to talk a little bit about apple watch as well and all those kind of like uh, smart watches because we can still wear them and um, still be a classic and feminine and elegant ladies what I think we need to start with is um, clarify just uh, just this basic that um, there's obviously a lot of watches on the market you can buy. There's any size you want. You can go for a really big one. You can go for a really small one. And I think that's the first thing you should, lady, um, as a lady, you should look at because um, not every watch is going to be feminine. There's a lot of watches that have this kind of big, um, like a watch face or dial. Um, and those are going to be very, very muscular. They are popular because obviously the trend is changing. Sometimes the big ones are uh, very popular, sometimes a smaller one. But overall, if you want to be a feminine and more classic, then you shouldn't go for those really big um, dial um, or, or face, face of the watch. Um, you should really choose the smaller one because those are just those kind of smaller, more like a gentle uh, watches looking like watches. They're going to just be more feminine. So that's the first thing you should um, you should notice when you're buying a watch that if you want to be classic and feminine, go for the um, small dial and don't don't just don't choose those kind of big one in your face because those, as I'm saying, are very popular as well. I think they are just like copied from the men as well style. That's why they are much more muscular. They are not, they don't have this kind of soft touch. Um, so obviously if your style is maybe more, a little bit more muscular and you like those kind of type of watches, then it's, it is absolutely fine. It's just, they're not going to give you any feminine look. They're going to be in your face and they're going to um, just give you more muscularity. So you just need to ask yourself, what is more important for you? So let's start with the more, I think, classic one, which is um, a round watch. Uh, obviously, round watches um, can be any color, can be made of any material. I am going to start first with those kind of like uh, bracelets. So you can buy, buy, obviously, a silver, you can buy a gold one, you can buy um, rose gold, which I have over here. And I personally like rose gold uh, color very much. Um, and those on the bracelets with the round shape, I think they're very, very classic. And overall, all the watches on the bracelets will be uh, very, very more, I think they will be more, again, feminine than those on the, um, let's say, black leather straps. Um, but we're going to talk another, about uh, other watches with this kind of leather finish um, that they are in more gentle colors as well. So if you're um, not really into the bracelets, then obviously there are other options for you um, that's still going to give you a soft uh, look. Round-on watches are really great for everyday 
and again when, when it comes to bracelet on the, some kind of like metallic or like gold or silver bracelet then i just feel they are also perfect for the evening because they are just um, they look more like a jewelry if you like your everyday watch which has let's say this kind of black leather or uh, any type of leather um, strap then straps then i would just recommend you to um, you wear it on the day basic and when you're going somewhere on the evening and you still want to have your watch on um, wearing your watch then just choose something on a bracelet because those are just better for the evening those are just going to look more uh, feminine on the evening and they will be just more suitable for the evenings and i need to admit that recently i um when i started doing this research for the watches i was never a fan of a square or those kind of like a rectangle um face watch I was always more about rounded watches and all my watches in my collection are actually rounded but when I started doing research for the for this particular video I noticed that those um, square watches with this kind of dial that is square um, are very very feminine especially when they are on a very thin um, maybe not thin just just thin bracelet and those are as well very popular when it comes to um, more expensive brands like um, Tiffany. You can buy beautiful Cartier watches that they are actually um, square and they are very, very classic. So again, if you're into very classic style, then I feel like those square ones are really great as well. I am... Um, I really it's really changed my mind and really opened my mind this video because I never really liked them. I always felt that they are a little bit for a more mature woman but um i started i started doing this research and starting reading about those watches and checking um ladies who wear those watches and i actually changed my perspective on on about them so as you can see it's um when you actually start discovering something you can always change your mind and there's nothing wrong about that um it's good to i think um it's good sometimes to actually change your mind and discover something something that you always thought that it's not for you and now you're actually discovering that actually you know what it's really really great and i would love to have one of those so i think the square are really great for the evening as well because uh, especially on the bracelets again all the bracelets i feel like they're going to be great for the evening um, and square are very very classic as well but ladies remember to choose those on the thinner bracelets because you don't really want to look very muscular um, and it's very easy to go into this kind of trap of buying very big like a, a dial because they are popular just now and honestly they're not going to give you this kind of classic feminine look that there's also this kind of trend of having a watches with a lot of this kind of like a diamonds around like obviously not real diamonds but this kind of like a um, glass that look like a diamonds or if you can afford it you can have obviously diamonds in your watch um and I feel those, they are okay if you're not going for a really crazy sparkling one. I think little diamonds are going to be softer and going to be much better than um, those kind of big ones in your face that they're just going to look actually cheap. Um, and when it comes to those kind of um, adding this kind of um, shine to your and sparkle to your watch, I would say again, they would be a little bit better for the evening because they're going to be a little bit they're going to just give you a little bit more um this kind of touch of the jewelry rather than um, during the day during the day i would say it's a bit better go for the classic without any um, diamonds if you are not a fan of those um watches on the bracelets then obviously you can go for um as i said like a leather straps or eco leather um there's lots of different materials there are now as well a very popular i noticed um women buy them it was kind of like a silicone bracelet but honestly ladies i wouldn't recommend that i feel like those are um there's this kind of trend now that you usually buy those silicones because maybe they are durable maybe they are i don't know easy to wash 
whatever the reason is i don't feel they are personally i don't feel they are classic at all so really avoid that it's better go for a nice light color leather it doesn't need to be real leather it can be anything that it's eco leather um but those gentle colors like a light blue light pink light beige even the white um they will be perfect for every everyday use wouldn't I recommend to wear them on the evening because those are more like a casual watches um, rather than bracelet that it's a little bit more on a, um, like a glam side let's say um, so those soft colors are really really great and really nice if you like a black um, color watches I have personally black watch as well which I really love it's I have a lot of black clothes anyway we all have this kind of periods of uh, I think black that we're coming back to black when we um, want and I have a black watch which I love and I feel um, those are okay as well they are really good for work if you have um, let's say your um, Altair is a little bit more business-like than the black watch is really good as well it's a little bit about finding balance here even if you go for darker colors, just go for a little bit more uh, smaller size rather than a big one, and it's going to be okay. If you want to add something extra to your watch, but not necessarily this kind of like a diamond um, around your uh, dial, then I feel like it's really great idea and you know a lot of uh, ladies doing that. It's to just accessorize with jewelry that you can actually wear on your hands, like uh, rings, a little bit more, add one ring to your finger, um, add uh, another bracelet. Really great idea is to wear your, uh, your watch with a bracelet in the same color. So if you have a silver watch, you will go for a little gentle silver bracelet. Um, or if you are the person who actually like to have a, just one watch, one thing on your uh, hand, then um, on your wrist, then go for a, a watch on the one uh, hand, on the left hand, and then go for the bracelet on the right hand. So yes, there are options. If you are, um, if you're not really bothered, if, if the watch and the bracelet on the same hand doesn't bother you, then it's absolutely fine. You can go for the um, for the extra accessories on the same uh, wrist. Um, when it comes to accessorizing, I would just go for something thin, wouldn't go for something that is bigger than a watch because it's just going to give really this kind of effect of too much, you know, you don't really want that. You want just look soft and gentle again, so you can add a little bit more, you can go for two, three even um, bracelet, but just really go for the small one, for the thin one. And I, I feel like accessorizing with your watch and with other uh, jewelry is really really nice again feminine um, touch because obviously men they don't really do that okay so let's just chat a little bit about those smart watches that uh, obviously are very very popular just now especially those kind of apple watches that you can um, text people you can call from this watch and obviously those watches i think it's important to um, clarify that they have a purpose of being useful. If you are the person who actually really need to be on top of their, I don't know, calendar, they need to be in contact with people during the working hours and um, those kind of watches would really suit you when it comes to your work life, then I feel like it's absolutely fine to wear them. There's nothing wrong to have um, this kind of technology in your watch. I just feel like... Um, they are just you you using this this type of watch for its purpose so it's not about how they look because they are not really elegant when it comes to this kind of very very um smart watches i feel like they are more on the trend side this kind of um, very small minimalistic lines but um, there's nothing wrong about that let's just clear that it's just about if you want to be more feminine then those are not really really great but again i feel like for the business life for the work they are absolutely fine but let's say you're going for a date somewhere and on the date you don't necessarily need to contact people all the time because you just want to enjoy um being with someone who you're going to actually someone new you're going to meet you know so for the purpose of um 
after work, after business hours, I would recommend you to change the watch for something more feminine, more soft, like bracelet. But again, those smart watches have their own purpose and I know that people using them a lot and they are useful. I don't personally have one because I just was never into and I don't really need to be in contact with people all the time. I have a phone and that's absolutely enough for me. I'm a little bit old school when it comes to those stuff. Um, but I know that people using them, they are useful. Maybe you need to be in contact all the time with someone. Maybe you are a very busy woman and or a man and you really need to find you are a very busy woman and you really need to have um, contact with your customers, contact with um, your company. I don't know. Overall, if you uh, for the work purposes, I feel like those watches are absolutely fine. Um, but they're going to be a little bit more muscular again. But uh, after again, after hours of your work, I think you should just change the watch for something more feminine and more suitable for you. And that's all. I, I don't think there is anything else to say in this subject when it comes to smart watches. Um, they are more like a business uh, watch for me. And um, overall, they're more like created the technology, this technology help us to more be in contact. And I don't necessarily think you need to be in contact, this kind of contact that whatever you get a text message, it's, it's going to be natural that you're going to look at your hand and you're going to read at least first, I don't know, line. And I don't necessarily think that it's going to be very nice and kind to the person that let's say you're going to eat at dinner. So I feel like there should be a balance in your life. When it comes to work, it's absolutely fine. After working hours, you shouldn't really wear them. Obviously, there are situations, I just want to clarify that, there are situations that you need to be in contact because let's say maybe your parent is in hospital or something. Um, there are, there are situations in our life that we need to be on the phone all the time because um, we're waiting for something. And again, it's fine, but I just feel like having a phone is enough. Uh, you don't necessarily need to wear your watch all the time because if you are knowing, if you know you're a responsible person that someone is going to contact you in some kind of uh, important decision, I don't know, maybe you're waiting for a decision from your lawyers if you get a house, then obviously you're still going to have your phone on you. So you don't necessarily need to have this kind of watch. So um, those watches are better for a work life rather than your personal life. Okay, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video and gentlemen, <laughs> I need to start learning learning to uh, say that more often. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think watches are also really, really great when it comes to um, gifts. If you feel like someone important is having a birthday soon, then watch, I think it's always very, very classic um, to go for. And if you go for a classic watch that has a, let's say, a beautiful bracelet, doesn't, has, doesn't have a lot of diamonds in it, just very smart, um, classic uh, watch, then you can't really go wrong with that because any lady would appreciate to have another classic watch in the collection. If um, someone is very flamboyant and they have this kind of style that they like to experiment, they like to experiment with watches, then it's still nothing wrong to give them a classic one because they can have a classic watch and add a little bit more uh, crazy jewelry to it. So I feel like classic watch is always going to be a good idea for a lady because they're going to have a, there's always occasion to wear a classic watch. You can go to opera, you can go to theater and you need to have your watch, let's say, because you want to know when there is a break, you're going to, let's say, um, to buy something, you're going for a break, you need to go to law, um, then you still need to have something that tells you what time is it. So, and obviously phones in those kind of um, ev events are really forbidden. So watch is still something you would need to have. Then I just feel like um, those classic watch are always going to find, um, you're always going to use them. So as a gift, they are really, really perfect um, for everyone, really. The same it comes to men. If you want to buy a watch for you, if, you, if you're not sure what to buy for your um, boyfriend that you start dating, maybe for your even boss, there's, um, watches, are always go to, it, watches are always good to go for. Obviously, with watches, what can be tricky, it can be a price. You don't want to buy something very, very cheap for someone because uh, people can get offended. Um, so that's that's just something that can be tricky. When it comes to your boss, if you uh, know that, let's say, they paid you this year really generous um, bonus and you know that your boss is someone important for you, then I feel like um, buying a watch 
you need to spend a little bit more, you know? So that's why there might be better options for you if you, when it comes to gifts, but obviously I'm not going to talk about gifts in this video. I'm just saying that watches are a really great idea when you're struggling with some kind of gift idea. That's it. <laughs> not going to dip into this. I can do another video about presents, which I think it would be interesting as well. So I might think about that. Um, but about watches, I think that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up because it's really supporting my channel and see you in another video.